messages of love and support for the beloved Hall of Fame second baseman have been pouring out all over social media following Ryan Sandberg's announcement today. The 64 year old who played 15 seasons for the Chicago Cubs shared on Instagram that he was diagnosed with metastatic prostate cancer last week. In the post, Sandberg shared photos of him giving a thumbs up while in treatment and of him with his family. Metastatic prostate cancer means that the prostate cancer is no longer confined to the prostate gland. Sandberg writing in part, we will continue to be positive, strong and fight to beat this. Please keep us in your thoughts and prayers during this difficult time for me and my family. Sandberg has been a fixture for the Chicago Cubs and Wrigley Field, both during his 15 seasons for the team as a 10 time all star and at spring training over the years by providing guidance for young infielders and as a team ambassador. Experts at Rush says the good news in this diagnosis is despite the long road ahead of him in terms of treatment, there are good options. Dr. Edward Chirillo commending the Hall of Famer for going public with his diagnosis in hopes that it helps others. This needs to be in the public forum. So, so when someone like this comes out and talks about this, uh, I think it can give a lot of guys the courage uh, to get the treatment they need. And a lot, there's no reason not to have a lot of hope in this space. Sandberg became the National League MVP in 1984, the same year the Cubs won a division title. Also during that season, he led the league in triples and runs while batting over 300 with 19 home runs. In 2005, Sandberg was elected to the National Baseball Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame chair saying in a statement in part that part of Sandberg's talent was his, quote, quiet intensity, and there's no doubt he'll bring that same tenacity to his fight. In June, the Cubs are scheduled to unveil a statue of Sandberg outside of Wrigley Field. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.